Hi guys, welcome to a new video. This is like a long video and long overdue video, not a long video. I try to make it short because I have a lot of skincare for today and um, I'm glad I took this big gap because I got to literally use experience and feel the skincare so that I can tell you better about what all I have been using and um, the amount that I have spent on certain skincare if they are to worth it or not. So let's get started with today. First up, let's speak about retinol. So since I'm in my 30s, I use retinol. Uh, this is Chemist Head Play 0.3 retinol, um, green tea, catechin. I don't really know, catechin, catechin. What does it pronounce? Like I'll just put the word here. And this has a very earthy, uh, earthy smell odor to it I wouldn't say it's fragrance it's fragrance free actually it smells like almond milk that's what it smells like and it's like milk like texture if you can see this is what I have been using and I don't use it regularly like every day you can use up to two days or alternate days that is what I do I don't know the side effects. I have seen a couple of dermats and a couple of skincare gurus who have been emphasizing that you don't use it daily. It's best when you're starting with anti-aging, you use it like every other day. So I have been using this and currently once I'm done, it's almost over. So I had to restock and I thought of switching to this is chemist at play and this is conscious chemist and um, the Diwali discounts were really tempting and amazing so you know the Indian brands had a lot of discounts the bottle looks like this and the texture is a light creamy texture I have not used it as yet I've just seen the texture it's good good enough and it I don't think it has any fragrance so this is what I will be using once I'm done with this. The next thing, very important thing for your texture and a very smooth and glowy look is niacinamide. Niacinamide is really good for acne and any kind of pigmentation, skin related problems. I have again been using the Chemiset Play Niacinamide. It's 10, uh, 11 kda i don't know what it means 11 kda hyaluronic acid plus 10 percent niacinamide i have been using this and it's a nice runny and watery texture i think niacinamide is like that it's supposed to be like that and a long time ago i made a video on the minimalist uh, aha bha chemical peel uh, exfoliant uh, from the minimalist and I said the ordinary the brand ordinary is kind of pricey and not so easy on the pockets but this time I thought after I'm done with chemistry player I I did quite a lot of splurge on this brand the ordinary people some people say it's a really good brand some people are of the opinion not so good brand you know the hype is unreal uh, but uh, this is what I'll be using this 10% ni niacinamide high strength vitamin mineral blemish formula that's what it reads on the bottle and it's a same kind of texture a very nice watery texture a niacinamide feels uh, kind of sticky but when you apply it on your skin it quickly absorbs this kind of skincare I really like even I love the Cosrx snail mucin which is kind of slimy but when you just uh, spread it out and work it on your skin it absorbs quickly and the very next day you can see the results your face is literally glowy and you can see the results on your face you know any kind of crow's feet um, fine lines kind of skin related problems they are like you know they settle down <coughs> the next is the ordinary again I purchased the ordinary vitamin C and the tube is this much still again pricey but I wanted to check what vitamin C does to your skin believe me it literally 
glows your skin it, you, just before bed you apply vitamin C and the next day you are going to feel the difference you are going to feel your skin is refreshed and you know there's a kind of glow so vitamin C is important although I intake vitamin C vitamin C intake also is important as for external so is for internal but I don't really know I am taking in the intake of vitamin C supplement and the topical application if it's the same or what because I can't really tell the difference again I'll just take a break and let you all know this is not a sponsored video these are not PR packages this is my literal skincare splurge nothing is sponsored in this way these are just my experiences with the skincare brands and my texture skin texture is literally improved with the facial hair i would get like razor bumps on my face uh, with the hair removal creams if you haven't watched my laser videos they are up on my channel but my skin has literally improved with the chemical peels that i've been using and um, you know treating my face with the IPL laser devices post care also is important so that's how I have been literally treating myself with skincare the next is the AHA BHA AHA BHA peeling solution this is AHA 30% BHA 2% I have been using the plum one I'll just take the picture over here I, although I have the uh, package the vial intact with the pump and all i do have it intact i forgot to get it for this video it's in my cupboard i'm not going to literally you know uh, take a break and get it for you people i'll just stick a stick the picture over here the percentage is way too less compared to this way too less i think it's 25 percent this is 30 percent and this is like a bloody cons consistency it looks like blood and that's what you know allured me or i was provoked to literally make this purchase i felt uh, incited actually i need to make this purchase so i purchased i purchased like a lot of ordinary products and as soon as i made the purchase right i see videos like how the hype is unreal the ordinary products are not that good to be people portray it to be but still i'll have to use and see the results and then i'll be able to literally judge if the hype is real or not then for body exfoliation i have been a hardcore fan and my holy grail has been the mac mac m caffeine i just keep saying macaffeine m caffeine um body scrub the coffee body scrubs feels like a spa treatment when you apply it all over your body or using the body scrub it feels amazing but this time around i thought i'll make a change and i purchased this pixie pie unicorn scrub from amazon um, because there was a viral tiktok video of how they are using the unicorn body scrub follow uh, like you know the unicorn as in because of this kind of texture and uh, i was tempted to find something on amazon and i found this one and it smells lavender like lavender and coconuts this is what it looks like again the texture is quite similar texture is in the feel it is like granules you can see so like granules and when you rub it on your body it has cocoa butter in this uh, cocoa butter and shea butter when you rub it on your body your body is scrubbed at the same time it's instantly moisturized so the shaving process once you're done scrubbing you go in with the shaving the shaving process is much easier and much faster so i am in love with this unicorn body scrub by pixie pie 250 grams is going to last you like for six months i think because i shave and scrub my body once a week so 
scrubbing and scrubbing your body daily on a daily basis when bathing when you bathe you scrub your body with a loofah that's different this is for keeping your skin polished you know giving that glow and shine that's why you require once a week body scrubs then moving on i was the kind of person who would think using a toner is a big fuss although i don't use it the traditional way i use a toner to cleanse my face like you know remove all of the makeup i will just spray a little bit of the toner and then i'll go with a wipe and get everything off i feel it uh, just does the skin care better i have been using the plum pore tightening um uh toner but this one is the dot and key sika sika calming skin clarifying toner um uh, dot and key packaging are like really cute really cute and you are forced you are compelled to make a purchase mainly because of the packaging i saw the reviews the reviews were good i was first of all allured because of the packaging but the reviews were good and it says it's a clarifying toner and i need something that is clarifying after using makeup and uh, so much of gunk on my face then this is what it is i don't directly use toners from their original packaging i transfer the product in a spritz bottle and i spritz it all over my face and then i wipe off my makeup so this is another purchase a sika calming toner and it uh, there was a sunscreen with the similar similar range with the sika and niacinamide sunscreen but the only sunscreen that works really well for me is neutrogena so i was in a dilemma whether i should purchase that sunscreen or not but i don't want to really uh <coughs> take a risk or jeopardize my skin because you know this is something new neutrogena has just been something habitual and my skin is so used to neutrogena i see no se- uh, side effects with it the neutrogena ultra sheer dry touch spf 50 p plus pa plus 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 that's the one i use and i see no side effect so i don't really want to switch although i might try like you know uh, alternating with the two sunscreen to see if the cotton key one works for me or not then the other controversial topic is about deodorants there are organic deodorants and there are deodorants that has aluminum in it the other day i saw a video of a dermat saying that a t- uh, tiktok dermat she said that organic deodorants are not as effective as antiperspirants you know which is true in fact they don't control sweat this one was my all time favorite and was lying around and i started using it there is less sweat under my pits with this one compared to this this one is from bella vita organic duo why this is just for scent purposes it doesn't you know it doesn't really control sweat so an antiperspirant works better this dove one works better this one is the cucumber cucumber variant there is one more which is a pear variant i use that one too i love cucumber and pear they are so they have such a refreshing smell so yeah this one i prefer this one to this one the term it made a lot of sense and i realize certain chemicals in certain products just like the controversial to- topic of sulfate and sulfate free shampoos and conditioners certain sulfate and uh, sulfate shampoos with uh, sil- silicone conditioners they are meant to treat your color treated hair like the one i'm using the bed head uh, antidote number 2 i have i'll just link the video up here about what i speak about that shampoo and conditioner that works really well for me they are not sulfate free they are not silicone free but they work really well for my type of hair 
it's a personal preference you can go for silicone free and sulfate free shampoos and conditioners since i color my hair that particular shampoo and conditioner works just fine i remember i made a video a long time ago about the same botanica purple uh, shampoo although people have given good reviews about it first two times i was like you know it it works well for my hair but over time i started experiencing hair falls so no i don't want to use anything this is been currently my love and holy grail for washing and conditioning my hair the bare hair antidote number 2 many people have given good reviews about it and i go for the large package you know the 750 or 1000 ml one that's the one i go for because it lasts me a year and i have been trying to search in all indian websites they are not really easily available on amazon it retails for 5000 rupees and then i found a site called zest beauty it retails for around 3000 and i think they will impose import tax so i don't know i'm not so sure but that's the only shampoo and conditioner that works really well for my hair um keeping shampoo hair care aside i will come back to hair care on the last bit i have spoken before this about the deodorant now as soon as i come home you know i take a bath i go in with this i was not ready to spend like 3000 bucks for a tub like this this is the cerave sa smoothening cream sa stands for salicylic acid salicylic acid is really good for oily and sweaty skin so this is what it looks like it has a very medicinal smell no fragrance nothing i use this on my pits and i have seen a huge difference i mean the underarms have lightened quite a bit um i was trying to search for a cheaper alternative uh, but i wasn't that happy last year i made a video on a particular product i'll link the link up here i don't really remember the product but this has been working really great along with this i saw a review on this one this is the cerave diabetic dry skin relief it is necessary for diabetic skin where you have like a dark darkening skin darkening or dryness due to diabetes you can use this even non diabetic people can use this i don't really have diabetes i have hormonal imbalance that is causing the skin darkening so i either use both together or mostly i'll be using this so i will not repurchase this one but this one yes i see the whole point and the logic behind using a salicylic acid for sweaty or oily skin so i will be using this once this is for the day the deodorant is for the day and this is the night this makes complete sense for skin darkening so this is this controls my sweat during the day this exfoliates and controls sweat so whatever is you know the underarm pores can get clogged with antiperspirants this helps to unclog or detox during the night so this is another great purchase i will consider repurchasing this is my third month with the tub and there is a whole lot of product so it should last me for 6 months 3000 bucks for 6 months is cost effective if you see it in that light the last product i'm talking about is a restock of the ganya fructis nourishing banana hair food is a, a three way usage either you can use it as a hair mask you can use it as a hair conditioner or you can use it as a leave-in conditioner so i use it as a leave-in conditioner to style my curls and i am absolutely in love with it it has a nice banana fragrance tropical banana fragrance you just blend a banana with yogurt that's what banana yogurt and honey that's what it smells like if you just sniff the scent of this all natural scent you know i can literally feel it's banana yogurt and honey that's what it smells like the last thing 
since I spoke about the glorif clarifying, clarifying, clarifying toner and I wipe my makeup, I have purchased the Swiss Beauty refreshing wipes. They are like friendly on the pocket and there are 25 wipes in the packet. I know wipes are bad for the environment but that's the only thing that works on my skin. Not that I don't care for the environment, but I have to take care of myself also. I try to use all natural products, something that is not animal tested, even I try to. But the Neutrogena, even the Neutrogena one, Neutrogena brand is known to test on animals, but that's the only sunscreen that works really well on my skin. You know, these are all controversial topics and I don't want to touch them because they are like overly sensitive topics. Videos are always interrupted because of my cats. My female cat likes to be around me, so she has to be in my zone all the time. Like every time, she just likes being around me. It's not like an annoying thing. I have to give them their space with me. So, yeah, that's all for today's video. I hope you like this video. If you like the video hit the like button if you found the products that you think you might try give it a comment you know like comment below and if you think i should try anything alternative this is like my second purchase i don't feel like going for any other variant this works just fine for me i am that kind of person something that works for me i'll go for it like without giving it second any second thought so this works really well if you think the other alternatives are good for curly coarse hair you can comment below but this works fine that's all for the today's video until then bye don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell your subscription would mean a whole lot before i end this video i would just you know end this video with my cat since she wanted to be in the video this is zola She's a mama of four and she is a dame. She's a dame cat, she's a madam. This is Madam Zola likes to be around me and I love her too. Bye.